Okay, I'm gonna need one person to come up and help me with this. Who wants to help me? Uh, come on up here, come on up here. How you doing? That's okay, let it do that. How you doing, what's your name? Kennedy. Kennedy, have we ever met before? Yes. We have? <laughs> Okay, we'll try this anyway. Okay, can you do me a favor and can you reach in there? Oh! What do you feel? Okay, wait, pull it out. What do you got? We got, oh, some silks, okay. What do we have? We got a red, a white, and a blue one. Very patriotic. Okay, now let me show you that there is indeed nothing else inside the sack. Can you please reach in there? Is there anything else in there? No. You're not? Are you sure? Okay. Is there anything in there? No. Is there anything in there? Okay. Cool. Now, uh, I need a magic wand, but see, I was rushing and I forgot it. So, but luckily I have a bag of mystery and hopefully, maybe if I just give it a wave, let's see what happens if I reach in here. Okay. Whoa, a magic wand! How did that happen? Isn't that magical? Here, you can hold on to that. Thank you. Let me close this up real quick, or this will not work. Okay, now you have three silks in your hand, right? I want you to take one at a time and place those in there, whichever one you want first. Okay, the white one. Very good. The next one. And the last one. Okay, so now this is very patriotic, correct? So now I need you to think of some patriotic magic words. Can you do that? Or just, do you know any magic words? Just say hokey. Okay, there we go. I want you to wave the magic wand over the magic bag and say, hope this focus. Okay, reach inside real quick, and what do we have? Open it up and show the audience we have an American flag! Woo! Okay, now, can you please put it back in there? Because it can't stay like that all day. Okay, now, I want you to take the magic wand and give it a wave another again. And snap. Woo, good. <laughs> Reaching, and this time I'll take out, uh, we have the blue one, the red one, and the white one. Thank you. Woo! Good job. Give me a okay, now I'm going to need to put that away because you can hurt someone with that thing. It's dangerous. Let me see that. Goes back inside the bag. Hold on. <laughs> okay. We're good. Now, see, for this next trick, I want to do a card trick, but I forgot my card as well. But, again, I have the bag, right? So let's and reach inside. Hopefully, see, I'm going to Walmart real quick, and I'm going to buy me a deck of cards. And hopefully, see, we have a deck of cards now. Okay, don't need that anymore. I got a brand new deck of cards. Will you hold that? I got to go get a knife. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Now, be very careful with this because this is insanely sharp. I want you to open up that real quick. Be careful, put it down. Don't cut yourself. Okay, let me see that thing. <laughs> Y'all should be worried for me. <laughs> Okay, now I want you to open that up and uh, take out the jokers and all the extra cards and all that because we won't need those here. Oh, those are jokers and extra cards. Look in there. Okay, can you get those a uh, nice shuffle, confirm that they're new and all that? Give them a nice shuffle. While you do that, I'm going to tidy it up. <coughs> That was a wonderful shuffle. You've totally done this before, haven't you? No? You were supposed to say yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Let me see those. Now, see, for some reason, people don't trust magicians because, see, like, we start doing things and they start wondering, whoa, he's got some skill or something because, see, I try to play poker with all my friends and they're like, no. You will somehow manipulate the card and make it to where I can't do that. I'm like, but I'm not very good. I mean, seriously, nothing like anything fancy, right? 
But anyways, <laughs> see if I can get these cards in order. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I want you to pick a card and I'm going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm looking at the cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, I want you to pick any card you want. Don't let me see it or it'll ruin the trick. Show everyone. Yeah, don't let me see it. You good? Yeah, we got Place it right there. Okay, are you sure you memorized your card? Did y'all memorize the card? Good, because if you didn't, this trick would be really dumb. Now, again, some people don't trust us magicians. I don't understand why. Because, see, it's not like we're doing anything tricky or anything. But, see, sometimes people just don't trust me. So I'm hoping that maybe, with a little bit of adjusting of things, you will begin to trust me. Now, uh, will you please shuffle these cards up? Because I don't want you to think that I'm doing anything funny. Shuffle them up good. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, on the count of three, what I want you to do is I want you to take the cards and just spray them all up in the air. Ready? One, two, and remember that one time, three. Whoa. What was your card? What was your card? It's their card! And that's a wonderful thing you can keep the playing cards as you clean them up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I want you to uh, thank you for coming up here and helping me. <laughs> Woo! Okay, now that we've got that portion over, I can begin the real stuff. Okay, I will need another volunteer. Someone a little bit older, perhaps? Um... Jerry! Jerry, come on up here! Hey! <laughs> I know, and we 
never met before. <coughs> You're supposed to say no. Okay, thank you. That's good. Okay, so you got no, no right there, right? No, what up? Let me see your dog, Bill. Can you just confirm that you can you can you confirm that you just gave me your dollar bill? Okay, thank you. I needed that. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna take your dollar bill, and you know you got a serial number, so I'm gonna write down your serial number real quick, right here on my pay envelope, if I can read this. Okay, let's see. Pen and red. I don't have a pen. I got an orange. <laughs> Okay, got it written down. I'm going to take your dollar bill and fold it up so everyone sees. Fold it up. In that pretty little thing, I'm going to put it inside the pay envelope. You got that? It'll go in there for crying out loud. I guess I shouldn't have used a rubber band. Okay, so, uh, got your pay envelope. Uh, can you link and steal that for me? Please, there, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on to that, please. Now, uh, can you hold it up to light to make sure that that is still in there? Yes. Good. <laughs> Nothing happened yet, trust me. Now, uh, let's recap first. You, you came up here, you wanted a lemon, you, you got an orange. an orange. I'm sorry it happened. You can trade afterwards. But, so you're going to take, so you took the orange, and then you came up and gave me a dollar bill. So, I want you to, I do, matter of fact. I got a knife. Can you please open your orange? Or open your orange. Open the bag and pull out the orange. Open the orange. All right, if I get cut on my underwear, I have to click on my underwear. You're going to have a problem, really. I can't promise what's going to happen. Hold on to this here. I'll take the bag and hold on to the knife real quick. Can you do me a favor and rip open your envelope and something very strange happened to your dollar bill? Rip it open. What do we have? We got a piece of paper. Now, can you please tell the audience what your piece of paper says? How owe you a dollar. <laughs> oh, sorry. That didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway. Uh, I want to... Just, uh, that thing will just not stay open, will it? I want you to slowly, don't cut yourself, because I don't want to get sued. Uh, I, want you, <laughs> I want you to take the knife and I want you to cut it into the orange. But not all the way around it, like you're going around it. Other direction. Like horizontally. There you go. Cut into it about halfway. Just cut halfway through the orange. Yeah, about halfway. You got any wet naps? <laughs> I got a brown paper bag. No. Okay, but don't cut all the way through it. And now cut in a circle all the way around it. Cut another circle. <laughs> oh, I get it. He, he gets it. I should have brought someone else up here. <laughs> okay, once you got that about right. Okay, now, once it gets all the way. Now, let me see the knife before you danger someone. I don't trust you. <laughs> now, I want you to slowly take the orange and I want you to twist the top of it like this. And I want you to pull. Which one's off. the top? Now, that, either one. <laughs> that one works. Twist it. Twist it. And I want you to pull it up slowly. Pull it up slowly. Inside, we have a dollar bill. Now, before we do anything, you have that piece of paper that has your serial number, correct? It, on the envelope? Okay, now I want you to take, uh, take the dollar bill out of the orange. I don't want you to think I'm doing anything. Take it out. Okay, I want you to put the rest of the orange in here. Now I want you to open that up slowly and read off the serial number, and you confirm it. And the serial number is... Which one's the serial number? <laughs> I was gonna say one. 
K three five three five nine. Love you. Five one two zero oh, two D. Done that match. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now for my, for my final trick. This is the serious one. Do not try this at home. This is very dangerous. I'm not kidding, okay? I will need someone one last time, one more volunteer. Who are we going to have? You know what? Since this is dangerous, I think we should... Come on, come on up, Phil. This is dangerous. Don't do it, don't do it. I'm so glad it's you on this one. Now, where's my. I need that divider. Can you go hurry and get that real quick? No, serious. Do not attempt what I'm about to do. Many of magicians have severely hurt themselves by performing this stunt. I have a razor sharp knife right here. And I have four bases. This knife fits directly into the base just like that so everyone can see. Now, what I'm going to have you do, Philip, is I'm going to put that up, and I want you to cover each one of those up with the styrofoam cup, and I'm going to keep it under cover because I don't even want y'all to know where it is. Let me cover it up real quick, or go ahead and put, go ahead and put the styrofoam cups over it. Okay, now. Hopefully that'll stay. Now I'm gonna come over here and look this way so i it so that I will not know where this where the knife will be. Mix comes around. He's really making me nervous. But seriously, this is very dangerous. I do not want to get a phone call from some person's mother telling me that their kid tried to do it. So don't do this. This can be very dangerous. Are you ready, Philip? <laughs> He's got to really mix them up. You good? Okay, I'm going to remove. <laughs> now. Now, this is a demonstration of health, health strenism. And health strenism is the art of muscle reading. So, Philip, will you please? We, we learned that. Yeah. <laughs> so, will you please take your hand and place it right here on my shoulder? Now, I want you to think of which it is. I need you to, uh, in your mind, think of which is the safe cup. He doesn't remember. <laughs> he doesn't remember. He's bad. Okay. Let me see if I can do this.